In these problems, we're trying to factor some quadratics, and we're factoring them what they call over the set of complex numbers, which means we're allowed to have i imaginary numbers in our answer. If you look at this one, you know, if this was a quadratic, you'd set it, well, it is a quadratic, you'd set it equal to zero, and then you might solve for x to find the solutions, and then you could kind of go backwards from there to get the factors. I think that's the approach I'm going to take, because just looking at this, I'm not sure exactly how to factor this. So let's try this solving for x first. I would subtract 16 from both sides. I've got 9x squared equals negative 16. And at this point, I think I would take the square root of both sides. Now, over here, I get 3x. And over here, I get a positive or negative. Remember, when we take the square root, we're going to get a positive and negative quantity of negative 16. Well, the square root of negative 16 is going to be the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. This is i. This is 4. So it's positive or negative 4i. Now, I'm kind of going to kind of go back in the other direction. I've got 3x equals positive 4i. I've got 3x equals negative 4i. If I want to put these back in the form of factors, I'd set them equal to 0 again. For this one, I'd subtract 4i. So I've got 3x minus 4i equals 0, and 3x plus 4i equals 0. So my factors here are going to be this chunk and this chunk, 3x minus 4i and 3x plus 4i. Now, that might seem a little bit um, non-intuitive, but if you want to check that these are really the factors for this thing, all you have to do is FOIL this. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Negative 4i times 3x is negative 12ix. 3x times a positive 4i is positive 12ix. So you can see these two terms are going to disappear. And then negative 4i times 4i is a negative 16i squared. Well, what's i squared? i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 16 is a positive 16. And you get 9x squared plus 16. And voila, that is what we started with. All right, that might seem a little strange. Let's, let's try another one, make sure we've got this down. We want to factor over the set of complex numbers. So I'm going to set this quadratic equal to 0 and try to solve for x first. So we'll subtract 9 from both sides. We get 4x squared equals negative 9. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. I get 2x over here. And over here, I get, well, square root of negative 9. By now, you should be kind of doing this in your head. It's a negative 1, square root of negative 1 times the square root of 9. It's going to be plus or minus 3i. Remember that plus or minus just because I'm taking the square root, the 3i, because that's what the square root of negative 9 is. Now I'm going to go back in the other direction, uh, and we get 2x plus 3i equals 0, and 2x minus 3i equals 0. So those are our factors, 2x plus 3i, 2x minus 3i. And if you want to convince yourself you did it right, foil these out, you will absolutely get 4x squared plus 9. So that's how to factor over the set of complex numbers. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.